Yes. Hi, it's Mark from WinningSolutionsInc.com and MicrosoftAccessExpert.com. And I uh, just finished the second session here. I was really lucky because it was in the same place. So I didn't have to go flying all over this huge conference center to get to my next session. So what it was about was something called Windows as a Service. Now, this is something that's kind of important to our small business clients, and that's why I really wanted to attend this session. And so the first thing you want to take away from this new term, or it's been around a little while, Windows as a Service is this does not mean that you have to rent Windows the way you have to rent Office through Office 365. You still buy your Windows with your PC or license it some other way. You don't have to pay a monthly fee for Windows. But what it does mean is Microsoft is really moving away from the old days of letting you just run Windows XP for 10 years or run Windows 7 for 10 years. You know, they really want you on the new version. Now, try to hang in there with this. I know this is kind of tough for a lot of our clients. It's tough for us too. But you got to understand what they're up against with their competition. You know, they're up against Apple and iPhone and Mac and Google and Android. And you know, those things just push updates. You know, you don't have any really real way to stop them. And so in order for them to stay competitive and do what they're doing, Microsoft's got to do the same thing. So we got to kind of hang with them. They're going to try to make this happen. Uh, and so uh, it's just something that you need to get used to. So I really want to call that out to you, you know, if you've got concerns about that. Um, now also, you may hear about uh, they've got some kind of long-term servicing version of Windows. But for people that are running Office and Access, like people who watch this video and are in our channel, it's not for you guys. What it's really for is for power plants and shop floors and ATM machines and things like that. They specifically said if you're an office worker running office applications, you've pretty much got to be on the version that's always getting upgraded. So I know that's tough news. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. Um, we deal with a lot of customers every day who come to us because of problems just caused by having to move off of Windows XP and get onto Windows 7. So we know this is going to be tough for a lot of you out there, but uh, the thing to know is that we are here to support you. We are very good at this. We're very good at moving older access applications up to Windows 10, so we can definitely help you out. So if you're looking for some help with that, um, you've definitely come to the right place. It's something we can do. We want you to contact us today. Basically, we'll need you to send us your access app uh, to us. Uh, we can sign a confidentiality agreement with you if that's something you need us to do. We're glad to do that. And then we can evaluate your access app, get you a quote for getting it moved up to a new version of Office that'll run on this new Windows as a Service, which is Windows 10, basically. So, you know, it doesn't sound like there's going to be anything like a Windows 11, that type of thing coming. It's just going to be update, 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 update. And so, uh, you know, once we, once we get you up to the new versions of Office, um, really we're having pretty good success with that. We're not seeing a lot of changes between like Access 2013 and Access 2016. So it shouldn't be too big a problem, but you know, if you're on a really old version of Access, like Access 2000, Access 97, you know, or some other DOS-based database or some other really old tool, um, that first jump to get moved up to the new versions is pretty tough. But again, we do this for a lot of customers. We're here to help you. There is some cost involved, but we'll be able to get this done for you in a timely, professional manner and continue to support you so you've got a place to come back to. You know, if for some reason, when they come out with a uh, uh, Windows update and it causes some kind of problem with your application, we're gonna be here to help you with that. So with that, I'm gonna sign off, head back to my next uh, presentation. Be talking to you about that soon. If you like this, please join our channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Um, and if these are services you can use, go over to our website. It's winningsolutionsinc.com. And from there, you can call us by phone, send us an old-fashioned letter if you want. Our addresses are on there. Um, you can chat with us uh, real time. We've got a web chat feature and stuff like that. Uh, so, or send us an email. Whatever you prefer, we'd love to talk to you. We'd love to help you make Microsoft really work for you. Thanks for listening, guys.